Section F starts from your page number 154. First one. Obtain the regression line of the demand on the price using the following information collected for the demand and the price of a commodity. Estimate the demand of a commodity in a price 40. Here the price and demand is given. Just take this information in your book. After getting the total that is sigma x and sigma phi, here I found x bar and y bar. Here I found the answer both are in decimal and the value is not so large. So here I am going to use this formula that is b is equal to n sigma x y minus sigma x into sigma y upon n sigma x square minus sigma x whole square. So out of this formula here I need the sigma x y sigma x and y I already have that is sigma x and sigma y. The next I need is x square. Here is the sigma x whole square. So sigma x ki value to already di hai or usi ko square karna hai. So here I need sigma x y and sigma x square. So with the next column I will get it multiply x and y column. So the total of this column I will get is sigma x y. So the multiplication of this 38 into 12 here I get 456. 36 into 18 648. 37 into 15 5. 155 and please continue with the remaining 612-494-507-540 and 456 and the total of this column is 4712. The next I need is x square. I mean the square of this column 38 into 38 that is 1444. 36 into 36 one two nine six thirty seven into thirty seven one three six nine this is how you have to calculate the remaining i'll complete and the total of this column will known as sigma x square that is twelve four seven nine now let's take all the information and put into the formula n here we found n is 9 that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 sigma x y that is 4 7 1 2 minus sigma x 3 3 5 from here sigma y 1 2 7 again n that is 9 sigma x square that is here we calculate 12,479 minus sigma x that is 335 whole square. Now get this multiply you will get 42408 minus the multiplication of this two 42545 upon 9 into the uh, 12479 you will get 112311. And the square of 335 that is 335 multiplied by 335. You will get 112225. Two, now get it subtract. As you can see this value is less compared to this. So answer will get in minus 137 upon the subtraction of this to 86. So here we get minus 1.59 the value of B. Next we will find out is A. y bar minus b x bar y bar just now we found is 14.11 minus b that we found minus 1.56 sorry 59 x bar 37.22 so now first get this multiply you will get 59.18 here as we remove the sign minus minus it will become plus so here we get after getting all the calculation the addition of this two will be 73.29 so at the end here we'll find out regression line y on x that is y cap is equal to a plus bx a value that is 73.29 plus 
b value minus 1.59 and the value of x back go to the question it is given estimate the demand of the commodity if price is 40 so here the demand estimated value you are given 40 so 73.29 plus minus 1.59 and keep the value of x as 40 73.29 plus get it multiply is minus 63.6 and if we remove the bracket here the sign of plus will turn into minus 63.6 and here we get the answer 9.69 here don't forget to write down that hence the estimate of demand obtained is y cap 9.69 in a hundred units moving to the next question second question the information regarding the experience of eight worker on a machine and their performance rating based on a non-defective unit they manufactured in every hundred unit is as follow here is the experience of worker and performance rating is given obtain the regression line of the performance rating on the experience and estimate the performance rating if a worker has an experience of 17 years first of all take this information in your book here i already wrote x and y and then make the total of this column where we'll find out sigma x and sigma y out of which first of all we'll find out x bar and y bar where i found the answer in decimal it is not that large value but still i'm going to use uv formula now here to find out uv formula first we'll find out u that is x minus assume mean divided by cx cx ko aapko dhunna hai ki ye column mein kaun sa number hai jo jiske table mein sare ke sare numbers aa jayenge by looking at this we can say ki ek mein 5 hai 12 hai 15 hai 8 hai ye kisi ek number ke table mein nahi aa sakta so here we'll assume it as a 1 so just hold your calculator 5 minus 5 divide by 1 it would be 0 next 12 minus 5 divide by 1 you will get 7 15 minus 5 10 divide by 1 it would be 10 this is how you have to find out u i'll continue with the remaining and here the total of this column will be sigma u as 85 Next, V, same process, Y, ye wala column hai, B, which you have to assume. In this column, I found this is the less value number and C, Y, just check the number. Somewhere it is 80, 82, 85, it doesn't come in any one table. So, here we'll again assume it as a 1 and B is 80. So, 80 minus 80 divided by 1, it would be 0. Then 82 minus 80 divided by 1, it would be 2. 85 minus 80 divided by 1, 5. This is how you have to keep on going. That is 60. Now the reason I assume the less value number, just not to get minus. Agar yahan pe value bada hoga, aur yahan pe kam value wala number hoga, so answer minus mein aega. So this is the reason why I always select less value number. The next column is UV. So which would be U multiplied by V will get UV. 0, 0, 0, 7, 2, 14, 10, 5, 50, 3, 1, 3, 15 into 10, 150, 13 into 10, 130, 17 into 15, 255, 20 into 17, 340. And here we get the answer for sigma UV, 942. The next we need is sigma U square. U square means just a square of this column. 0, 0, 0, 7, 7, 49, 10, 10, 100, 3, 3, 9, 15, 15, 225. 13, 13, 169, 17, 17, 289, 20 to 20, 400. So here we get the total of sigma u square is 1, 2, 4, 1. Now the next and the number of information 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That is 8. 
sigma uv that is the total of this column 942 minus sigma u 85 sigma v that is 60 upon and again 8 sigma u square 1241 sigma u whole square so here we will take sigma u 85 and then we will remove square of this and the cy and cx was 1 upon 1 next get them multiply 7536 minus the multiplication of this two you will get 5100 divide by 8 into 1 to 4 1 9 9 2 8 minus 85 into 85 7 2 2 5 and uh, by subtracting you will get 2 4 3 6 2 7 0 3 and by dividing you will get 0 0.90 so next is to find out A and the formula for to find out A is y bar minus B x bar. y bar that is 87.5 minus B just now we found 0 0.90 and the x bar is 15.63. Now first get them multiply you will get 14.07 and by subtracting you will get 73.43. The next we will find out is regression line as we already got value of A and B. Y cap is equal to A plus BX. A just now we found. 73.43 plus B 0 0.90 and the value of X which is given in the question that estimate the performance rating if a worker has an experience of 17 years. So that's our X. 73.43 plus get them multiply you will get 15.3 is equal to 88.73. So the estimate performance rating obtained y cap is equal to 88.73. Moving to the next question. The information regarding daily income and expenditures of 5 labor families earning by daily work. Here you can see the income and expenditure is given. Obtain the regression line of the expenditure on the daily income. Estimate the expenditure of the family having daily income of 500 that's the value of x is given so first take the information in your book as usual make a total remove x bar and y bar as the value you can see the large but again here again i'm going to use uv formula so first of all we'll find out u now to find out u we need a assume mean which should be a less value so we don't get answering minus so here i choose 200 and just check the column अगर इस पूरे कॉलम को अगर आप ध्यान से देखो तो सब में 00 दिया है मतलब सारे नंबर्स 100 के टेबल में आ जाएंगे तो दैट वुड बी आ cx सो लेट्स स्टार्ट कैलकुलेशन x 200 माइनस अज्यूम मीन 200 डिवाइड बाय 100 सो ऑब्वियसली द आंसर विल बी 0 300 माइनस 200 डिवाइड बाय 100 विल गेट 1 400 माइनस 200 डिवाइड बाय 100 2 600 divide, uh, minus 200 divide by 100, 4. This is how you have to continue with for the u and the total of sigma u that is 14. The next is v, y minus b divided by cy. Now to find out here, I am going to assume mean as a 180 which I found the less value in this column. Next is cy, just check which number will go. पीछे वाले नंबर से आप चेक करो जिससे आपको पता चले कि ये कौन से टेबल में जाएंगे तो यहां पे सब में कॉमन जीरो तो है बट द नेक्स्ट नंबर इज 872808828 ये तो 20 में आ जाते हैं लेकिन 7 इट नेवर कम्स इन 2 का टेबल राइट सो हियर वी विल टेक 10 व्हिच विल बी द 10 नंबर विल बी द कॉमन टेबल वेयर ऑल द नंबर विल कम सो दैट आई टू सी वाई so next step 180 minus 180 divided by 10 0 270 minus 180 divided by 10 will get 9 
थ्री ट्वेंटी माइनस वन एटी डिवाइड बाई टेन फोर्टीन दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट एंड नाउ द टोटल ऑफ जिग्मा वी इज यर वन जीरो फाइव नेक्स्ट यू वी कॉलम द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस टू जीरो जीरो से जीरो वन नाइन से नाइन टू इंटू फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी एट This is how complete U V column. Now the U square, that is the square of this column. Zero zero is a zero. One one is a one. Two two is a four. Four four is a sixteen. Seven seven is a forty nine. And the total of sigma U square here we get seventy. Now just keep in your formula n one two three four five. Sigma U V five twenty one minus sigma U. That is fourteen, sigma v one zero five. Again n five sigma u square. That is seventy minus sigma u fourteen whole square. Now just go with the calculation and yeah, don't forget to keep c y and c x. Here I found c y as ten. Yeah, you can see and c x as Hundred. Now just go with the calculation. Zero five minus one four seven zero. Here three fifty minus one ninety six, and here we get zero point one. But first we'll get subtract this. Here one one three five one five four into zero point one, and the division of this seven point thirty seven. Into zero point one, we get zero point seven three seven. So again, we'll just take point के बाद का दो ही number लेना है. Third number अगर five number से ज़्यादा है, तो आगे वाला number एक digit से बढ़ जाएगा. तो यह three के जगह पे आपको लिखना है four. So here we found B as zero point seventy four. Next we'll find out A. That is y bar. Minus b x bar, y bar we found three ninety. Minus b that is zero point seventy four. X bar that is four eighty. Now by getting it multiply, we'll get three fifty five point two, and the final answer will be thirty four point eight. The next regression line. y on x that is y cap is equal to a plus b x a 34.8 plus b 0.74 and the value of x which was given in the question was 500 so 34.8 plus get them multiply you will get 370 and by adding them we'll get Four zero four point eight. So here we can write down the estimate of expenditure obtained is y cap four zero four point eight. Next.